how to add payment methods to your Shopify store. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can add different payment methods onto your Shopify store. Now, this includes things such as cash on delivery, manual payment methods, as well as other payment methods like Stripe or any type of card payment getaway. So for any Shopify store to be fully functional, you need to have a payment method in your checkout. Otherwise, your Shopify store is not going to let customers check out. So to do this, we're going to go into our Shopify store dashboard, and then you're gonna click on online store on the left. One thing to note is that your payment method often cannot be added if you still have a password on your store. So you're going to go into online store first and then click on remove password and remove your store password. You can add it beforehand as well, but sometimes it just glitches a bit. So I like to remove it beforehand. Once you've done that, you're going to click on settings on the left. And once you click on settings on the left, you will see the option of payments. Click on payments over here and you will see different ways that you can capture payments. So firstly, you can connect with a payment provider. Then you have different supported payment methods. This is basically a alternative way to search for a payment provider. If you're focusing on a specific payment method and you really want that particular payment method, you can search for that payment method and Shopify will show you all of the payment providers that are allowing that payment method. So you can choose the provider like so. Below that, you have the payment capture method. Well, this refers to when is the payment going to be captured from the customer to your Shopify store. So you can either make this automatic at checkout automatically when the entire order is fulfilled or manually. This by industry standard needs to be automatically at checkout. That's just the industry practice. Then below that, you also have manual payment methods. Now, if you click on manual payment methods, you have bank deposits, money orders, cash on delivery, as well as customized payment methods. Why should you add a customized payment method? Well, depending on the region where you are present, you might have things like mobile app transfers or there are often things like MobiPays that are only available to a localized area that you might want to offer because that might be a more frequently opted for payment option within your country, within your area. So you can create a custom payment method. For that, you just provide a name for that payment method and then just write some details and payment instructions on how you have to pay, how the customer has to pay you. So below that, you also have payment method customizations such as third-party applications that you can integrate. Then you also have Apple Wallet Passes where you can give customers a digital Apple Wallet Pass gift card to use when they are online or in your retail stores. Now you can also choose the customization of when gift cards expire or if they never expire on your store as well. Now let's get started by adding our payment provider first and then we're gonna move towards customized payment methods. Now let's say I want to offer Apple Pay. For that, instead of looking for a provider, I can just search for payment method and I'll search for Apple Pay like so. And this will show me all of the payment providers that are currently offering Apple Pay within my region. You can see currently there are none that are offering that. But if I search for Gyro Pay, that's being offered, Samsung Card, that's being offered. And if I just want to search by popular provider, I can go back or just simply search for a provider or click on choose provider over here. Now within this, you have a bogus gateway that you can set up that is going to help you in just testing out your store, whether the checkout is working or not. Below that, you have some of the popular payment gateways for your particular region. This is going to vary region by region depending on what is being supported in your country and your nation. You can choose the payment method that you prefer or the payment provider that you prefer select that and then once you select it i've selected stripe and you guys can see this has opened up my stripe account i can click on connect over here once i click on connect over here i can complete my information with stripe so i just have to you know connect my stripe account fulfill my personal information 
And then I can, once I've completed that, my application integration is going to be completed. And then I can go back into Shopify. I'm just going to log back into my Shopify store like so. And once you have completed the information, you will see the new payment gateway is added. You guys can see my Stripe connection has been completed. Most payment gateways, most payment providers are going to charge a 2% transaction fee. This is the standard transaction fee. However, keep in mind that in your particular region, the standard fees might be higher. You want to opt for a payment provider that has the lowest possible transactional fee so you get the highest possible profit margins for your products. Now, this is how you set up a basic payment gateway. You can click on manage over here for further management. Now, within Stripe, Stripe is offering four different types of payments, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, as well as Apple Pay. Let's say I don't want to accept American Express, so I'm going to uncheck this option, click on save, and just like that, now customers can only either pay in Visa, MasterCard, or Apple Pay. Now I can go back and I can set up a different type of payment option for my customers. So you can actually enable multiple payment methods or providers, but that's not something I would recommend. Just opt for a provider that has all of the payment methods that you want. After that, I want to also add a manual payment method. So for that, just click on manual payment method. I have cash on delivery, so I'm going to add that. And you can provide some additional details. So pay with cash to your courier upon delivery. Pay with, yeah. And that's it. I will click on activate cash on delivery. And this will now activate the cash on delivery for my particular products. Now, if I show you guys what this is going to look like in store, I'll just open up my Shopify store over here. And this is what my Shopify store looks like. And let's just take this product over here. I can click on add to cart. This will be added to my cart. I can click on checkout on the top right. And once I click on checkout, this is a very standard checkout that you will see. On the left, you have the shipping method and the payment option. So it's offering either credit card or cash on delivery. Your customers can select the option that they prefer, like so. And they can select the, you know, they can fill out their details and then proceed with their purchase. And just like that, you can add a payment method onto your Shopify store. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries about Shopify or any other platform, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.